that's a beautiful scenery. Somehow the snow is from the ground to the sky. Going to the opposite side, I'm wondering why. Huh, interesting. Hey, good morning, Kanazawa Ishika Prefecture. Hope we can find a great food. I'm so ready to go, so let's go. Oh, now is the time to clean up. <laughs> it's Sunday, but uh, seems like not so many people at Kanazawa Station. Oh, feels so good! In such a big station, it feels like me only here. Well, luckily, it's not raining today. The Kanazawa is the one of the most place that we have a rainy day in Japan so if it's not raining you should be happy it's really cold though let me check the weather right now it's 3 degrees I think it's not that bad but still it's really chilly but anyway firstly I want to get the free pass for the bus so let me go to the travel information center and let me get the free one day bus pass it's 600 Japanese yen well if you want to travel Kanazawa area I think that's the cheapest way it's just over there so let's keep walking it's inside the station in Japanese. This place called Kanko Annaijo, Tourist Information Center. Hi, Arigatamas. So this is the one-day pass. Basically, you can just show them, and those buses are free. However, this blue one you can't ride on it, so you got to be careful. Anyway, let's go. All right, sweet. I'm so ready to explore. Let's go. So I got the map. Well, uh, firstly, I think we can go to the market. Yeah, it's one of the closest places here. Just right next to this place, one station away. There are two places really popular here. And also, I want to visit the Kanazawa Castle as well. Anyway, uh, probably we can find the good food over there. Let me see. Are you guys ready? Let's go. So we have to take a bus from number six, and here we go. This is the bus. Well, it was just one station subway, so probably we could walk. <laughs> it's okay. Sweet. I can just show and the bus becomes free. Well, they just told me that due to the pandemic, that loop line will not be operating from tomorrow. So I guess I was right on time. Anyway, Omicho Market is just over there. So let's keep walking. Let's go. So I arrived to Omicho Market. That's a big market, but uh, seems like many places are closed. But uh, some stores are open. Let me see. Wow, nice. Those are expensive though. They sell seafood. Oh, look at that shrimp. 580 Japanese yen. And this oyster, 980 Japanese yen for 40. Oh, I think it's a pretty good deal. Wow, look at this restaurant. We can eat it here. Look at the scallop. It's huge and only 600 Japanese yen. Let me try this scallop and this shrimp. All right, sweet. The very first food, it's a scallop. Nice. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's huge. So they have ponzu and the soy sauce. Let me use the soy sauce. Oh my goodness, it must be good. So the very first food, it's scallop. Itadakimasu. It's really soft and sweet. 
And then it's not smelly at all. Well, 600 Japanese yen, maybe. Price for tourists, but uh, I think <laughs> good enough. Loving it. Mm. With wasabi, even better. That was pretty good. It feels like I want to eat more. So the next one is the shrimp. Well, that looks huge, but this one is the smaller one. All right, here we go. Wow, nice. This is the shrimp egg, which I haven't tried it. It's interesting. I'm wondering how it tastes like, and I'm wondering if I like it or not. <laughs> Let me try that. Itadakimasu. Oh! Actually, it's pretty good. Well, taste pretty much not taste much, but uh, it's not smelly. I think it's fresh and uh, tastes like uh, some small eggs in the California roll. Yeah, that's how I felt. Anyway, so let's go to the main dish. So that's uh, shrimp. Okay, let me just pull it. <laughs> I can't. Maybe I should use my hand. All right, here we go. With wasabi, this one must be really good. Well, I didn't know that that big shrimp become this size, but it must be good. Itadakimasu. Mm. It's really sweet and soft. Loving it. Mecha ochi. Oh my goodness, I can't stop eating it. The next one is the sea urchin uni. This one is from Hokkaido. Yeah, I really like the Japanese sea urchin. It's much sweeter, that's how I feel. Let me see, how about this one? <laughs> Itadakimasu. Oishii. Uh, well, it's less sweet than what I was expecting it, but I think it's pretty good. Mm. Well, it was pretty good, but definitely I'm not full yet. Yes, we still have more, I believe, so <laughs> let's explore more. And uh, yeah, I've seen the comment that Ryan should spend more money. Don't worry, 2021 will be different, so <laughs> please look forward to it. Sweet, so let's see what else we can find. Next, why don't we try this noto beef? Seems like today it's a special day, they're using the premium A5 rank. Well, price is 900 Japanese yen, which I think it's a bit expensive, but why not? Let's do it. By the way, they have a sushi too. It's totally raw beef. For now, I want to try the barbecue one, the skewers one. Let's do it. Hopefully, this one is better than the one I ate at the Matsuri Festival. Hi, All right, so the next food, it's a noto beef. You know, since I'm at Ishikawa Prefecture, I want something special, so I think this is the perfect beef. <laughs> well, to be honest, it's much smaller than what I thought, but how about the taste? Itadakimasu. Oh. Mm. Uh, it has a stronger salt and pepper. However, what is this? Like, it feels like there is a butter inside. It's really sweet. Maybe because of the fat, I'm not sure. Maybe it's because of the premium beef, I'm not sure. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, still, I feel like 900 Japanese yen for this, a bit expensive, but I like it. Yeah. 
うんめっちゃ美味しいあすいませんありがとうございますごちそうさまです Alright let's explore more They have souvenir stores and seafood Oh look at that that's wasabi And not so many people in the arcade, but seems like this restaurant is really popular. That's a conveyor sushi restaurant, Mori Mori Zushi. Interesting. Oh, that's the beer bar, I think. They have a craft beer of Ishikawa, but this place is closed. So pretty, I wish I could drink beer here. That's a coffee vending machine, but the Kanazawa version. <laughs> They have a Kanazawa caramel latte. <laughs> I gotta try it. Price is 250 Japanese yen. Let's do it! <laughs> I can see inside that they're making it. And here. It's the timer until we get five, four, three, two, one, and sweet! <laughs> Loving it! Now I have a drink so we can explore more. You know, after the eating seafood and drinking caramel latte, perfect. Loving it. Psycho. And this is the street for fruits, but seems like most of the stores are closed. Oh, this udon store is open. Oh, and more. Let me see. So, I guess this is like a supermarket style. You can buy it and you can cook it at home. Nice. Oh my goodness, those crabs look s pretty good, but uh, very expensive. Oh, look at that. That over there, right? Tabete m i m a s h i It's a Ishikawa direct, meaning tabete mite. Interesting. And oh my goodness, look at the sky. It became really beautiful. So, the next. <laughs> I g e t all the kind of strong wind. So, for the next, we are heading to. Oh, never mind. All right, here I can show you guys the map. So, we are here right now. For the next, we are heading to this Higashi Chaya district. This place is one of the. Most popular photo spot, and、uh, there is a really interesting Japanese food street there. So, hope we can enjoy there. So, let's take a bath. Well, hopefully, this one is the right one. So, here I found the loop line information. So, this must be the one, I believe. Oh, you know what? The next one is 36. So, we have to wait a bit. Because it's 29,、uh, seven minutes to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, even if it became a super sunny day, still feels pretty cold. Feels like I'm in Ishikawa Prefecture now. <laughs> Loving it. Maybe. <laughs> All right, finally. Sweet. <laughs> This time, no one in the bus. Wow, look at that building. Cool. Alright, here we go. We arrive. Right now it's 2 p.m. It was stopped at Kanazawa Station about 10 minutes, so it took 30 minutes, I guess. But it's not that far. Anyway, so let me see. Where is the Higashi Chaya guy?、Uh, well, 
<laughs> Let me see. Oh, well, many people walking this way, so hopefully this is the way. Anyway, let's keep walking. Oh, look at this mailbox. It's really classic. Huh. Interesting. So that's the information center. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we can't go up. But uh, that's interesting. And uh, there is art garden here. So that one is called Toro. It's a lantern for the winter season. And he just told me how to get there. So now I know. By the way, it's a really nice place. <laughs> wow, this small street. The taxi is here. It must be really hard to drive. And here we go. There is a sign. So Higashi Chayagai must be this way. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So I guess this is the main street. Well, let me see. Oh, this is the street. Cool. So this is the really popular photo spot at Higashi Chayagai. Many people are taking a photo here and it looks really cool. So this street, usually it's really clouded but today not so many people. Well I guess there are many places that we can eat however I'm not sure which one to pick. All the places are restaurants or sweet store. Well, personally, let me check around. <laughs> I think that's the easiest way. So <laughs> let's keep walking. Let's go. As you can see, many places we can't film it inside. So you gotta be careful. So Higashi Chayagai, direct translation is the East tea house street so there are many tea house here hopefully i can find one and uh, i can enter but uh yeah usually this kind of tea house is a small place so during the pandemic me eating there and shooting the video is pretty much impossible <laughs> anyway let's keep walking In Kanazawa, this kimpaku, which is the gold oil, is really popular. I don't think it affects for your taste, but maybe I should try that. Let me see. Well, should I try? How do you guys think? Let me know and they comment down below. Well, I couldn't find a good place to shoot, but it's okay. Let's go to the next spot. So right now we are here at number four and heading to number seven. All right, here we go. Let's go. Well, it's just only two stations away, so should be not that far. Ups at all. All right, here we go. So let me see. How about the 21st museum looks like? Yes, that's the one of the spot. So we should go. That's the place. So here is the 21st art museum. And uh, yeah, there's something artistic and the kids can play too. Let me see. That's a really small entrance. Can I? going with the backpack <laughs> with my big backpack it's really hard to enter <laughs> oh and inside it's big but uh yeah interesting <laughs> okay oh and i guess that's something artistic again what will we have inside? 
here. Uh, okay, I think that's a light. Not sure. Maybe in the night time it become beautiful. And the snow. Oops. <laughs> oh, it's wet. <laughs> So here, basically there are two parts and the, this section, if you only want to see that, it's only 450 Japanese yen. But if you want to see the whole area, it's 1,200 Japanese yen. And the most popular art here is this swimming pool one. This is really popular. Due to the pandemic, you can't enter at once. And uh, the next time is 5.15. Uh, well, it's 3 right now. We have 2 hours and 30 minutes. Maybe we can visit next time. Yeah, maybe because some place we can film and some place we can't. So next time when I come to Kanazawa, we can check. I think so. In the swing part area, you can take a cool photo like this. But uh, you have to make a reservation due to the pandemic. Well, yesterday we couldn't enter the Kanazawa castle. So today we will get there. Well, right now it's still 3.16. We still have an hour and a half, so should be fine. Anyway, let's wait for the bus. Well, it's only one bus stop away, so I think we can walk, but uh, yeah, we'd better take a bus because it's free. Ooh, it's cold outside too. Here we go, we come back to the Kanazawa castle. So I just talked to the people who work here and then she told me that the Kanazawa castle is already gone in 1600. Too, so uh, there is no castle, but uh, there is uh, something here. Uh, well, let me see. Uh, hi, Arizamas. So from here, we need an entrance fee. The price is 320 Japanese yen. So basically, they have a set ticket with the Kenlokuen. The price is 500 Japanese yen. So if you are visiting Kenlokuen too, Definitely, you should buy the set ticket. Well, I just visited there yesterday, so today I don't go to the Ken Lokuen. So, let's go. So here, we have to take off the shoes. Oh, cool. They have an English voice guide. They have Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean. Welcome to Kanazawa Castle Park. Here, Shirokuzan, we constructed. This used to be Kanazawa Castle Miyamaru, the second enclosure. Miyamaru Palace, which used to be located here, was where the feudal lords of Kaga Province lived in the Edo period, and it was also the center of the feudal government. The buildings you will see in this complex, Ishiyagara, Kojuken Nagaya, and Hajisume Mori Suzuki Yabara were the facilities to guide Inamada Palace. Wow, so basically they don't use the nail to build this building. It's like a puzzle. You can just connect together and it became like this. This kind of style, usually we use it for the temple, but this place is different. This one is for fighting. It's much stronger compared to the regular one, so that's why they use this. Well, how do I know that? <laughs> yeah. That TV explained me pretty well. Oh, 
true. It was pretty interesting, especially people who love Japan's constructions. Definitely, you should visit there. You can learn a lot. It's Hachiban Ramen. They have miso, salt, and soy sauce. Today, let's order this soy sauce one. Ooh, all right, so I came back to my hotel. Tonight's dinner, it's Hachiban Ramen and also Asahi. This Asahi can is really special. You can just open it and it's like a draft beer. Come fight. Ah, psycho. Anyway, so today it's the ramen. Ta da! It's a Hachiban ramen, one of the most popular Kanagawa's ramen restaurant. I got the soy sauce taste today. There are noodles and the stuff on top, and the soup on bottom. Oh my goodness, look at these chopsticks. I got the really unlucky one. It's totally stick together. I can't open it. I tried to open it with my teeth, but uh, it doesn't open. Ah, oh. You know, I don't want to make the ramen soup cold, so... Perfect. This is the soup. It's a soy sauce based and we can place this noodle here. So let me place noodle. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, I wanted to make like a restaurant one, but it's okay. All right, so dinner time. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh, <laughs> well, compared to other ramen, this is really light taste. It's not like a super oily, super spicy. It's like a mild soy sauce flavor. Well, it's perfect, especially after you had a long day. I think it's easy to digest. Loving it. Psycho. Well, you know, I was pretty hungry, so <laughs> this ramen <laughs> Ah, oh, And also compared to other ramen, there are more veggies inside, so it's healthier. Maybe. Or <laughs> just a little bit, but still healthier. Ah, that was pretty good. Oh my goodness, I just realized that I totally forgot to shave my beard, but it's okay. <laughs> anyway, so in the next video, I'll be traveling from here to Tokyo by Tohoku Shinkansen. Wait, it's a Hokuriku Shinkansen, Hakutaka. It's my first time to ride on it, so please look forward to it. Also, big Thank you to the Patreons, your support is really important to me. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account too. So hope you enjoy virtual travel to Kanazawa through this video. If you enjoy, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe. It really supports me. Arigato! So see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye! Se no go! <laughs> bye bye! Yeah. Totally forgot. <laughs>